Ooh, uh, should we start with the ending? Let's do it. Avengers Across Time, this is issue five. This is Paul Levitz, Alan Davis, Rochelle Rosenberg. Love you, Rochelle. Um, okay, so... They don't <sighs> make books like that. They it's, don't. They like, don't. So good. It's got this Silver Agey vibe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that almost... There's a meta story. Yeah. That, that goes across all five issues. Absolutely. But it feels like you can just jump in. Any particular yeah. one issue. When you say that they don't make books like this anymore, mm -hmm. is this a lost art and we're kind of at a at a loss because of it? Because I think this is definitely one of those series that could get new readers in the door. Yeah. And I, we're not having that. Right. What I, in my opinion, it is a lost art in the sense that most books now are written specifically, especially if it's a long-term title. Yeah. For trade paperback. Mm. So there is this necessity to start at the beginning or else you're missing out on giant chunks. Gotcha. Or it becomes kind of like a barrier entry for, right. for newer readers. Mm -hmm. Whereas from this time period, it was just a story. Yeah. You could just jump in. Yeah. And it has reference points mm -hmm. to other things, which I think would be really smart. Again, as we've talked about mm -hmm. before, anytime that Marvel or DC does this, they make sure that... Uh, the stories that they're talking about are available in trade yeah. because that boosts sales. Yes. Okay. Like that is really thinking about the customer experience at a retail level mm -hmm. going, Hey, if we're going to talk about this thing, here's copies yeah. of it that you can sell to your customers. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. How big does a QR code have to be? Uh, it doesn't have to be big at all. Okay. Actually. So like, like, I mean, you can be literally, Oh God, you're saying make that put a <gasps> QR code in like as oh. seen in this and you QR code it. You know what, it, what it is. It gives you a little bit of blurb and then you know what to, to ask the retailer for. That's like, brilliant. Okay, so, okay, hold that's on, my, we're, gonna, my, we're, we're on a tangent now, hold on. Okay, so QR code takes you to maybe like a short trailer mm -hmm. for that issue. Comics, guys. That's kind of what they were doing with their AR yeah. stuff, right? Right. Why'd they stop? Okay. That well, was, that was my second good idea for the week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it, man, I like it. Um, okay, so this wraps up this particular story, yeah. B, and it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's a wild ride, um, classic storytelling. Yeah. If you are a fan of old school comics, yeah. it's it's there. If you've never experienced an old school comic and you want to, also there. So if definitely try that yeah. out. If you didn't like Jason Aaron's run, go with this. How do you not? I don't like. There's somebody out there. Is there? I think like that's the one absence of the multiverse. Like yeah. there is no way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's like the anti-America. <laughs> 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 you're you're clearly one of the uh, the black skulls. Like that's what you are. Exactly. You're one of the doom planets like yeah okay 